So today we got a pretty special ship coming for you, and that is the Schroeder. Uh, I might not be pronouncing that right, but another tier nine German cruiser. That's a secondary focus. Look at all these secondaries. Oh my goodness, absolutely crazy. Uh, what is this, take number three, four for secondary cruisers? Of course, we had the Aegir, we had the Siegfried. Um, we also have the Napoli. I would say Napoli is probably the most successful secondary cruiser. The rest aren't terribly great, uh, but hey, this is a new ship after the captain changes that removed manual secondaries away from cruiser builds. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, something you should know about this ship before we look at the commander build is the armor. 27 is not good. This is really, really bad up front. Uh, 30 deck, 90 on the sides is pretty good. Um, but that bow is really, really bad. So. I'm thinking this is more of a kiting ship, although you could have shells get caught right here. Uh, but notice how much smaller the 27 is here in the back. So it's gonna be a little bit tankier from say this angle. The other nice thing about that, as you can see, a lot more of our secondaries are able to shoot towards the rear. At least that's what it seems like from port, especially this big one up top here. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But the commander build, yep, we're using Luchins, we're going secondaries as much as we can on a cruiser build. So top grade gunner does give us some secondaries. We also have adrenaline rush. I'm trying to stay alive. So superintendent, survivability expert, concealment, uh, pretty standard stuff when trying to go for that brawling secondary focus ship. And then the equipment. We have secondaries, of course, concealment, which does give us a respectable 10.2. Uh, alongside our secondaries that get out to 10. So nearly stealth secondaries, not quite, but it's a lot like the Battlecruiser line, the Schlieffen, where pretty much if you're spotted and that thing, whatever ship is spotting you, is also detected, you're gonna be able to secondary them, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, I am taking steering gears here. I'm not sure if that's right. If we're wanting to play around islands, I think propulsion mod would be better, again, to maneuver. Sometimes these battle cruisers just get burnt down, so then damage control system would be good. But keeping in line with what I said about the armor of the ship, wanting to be stern in, that leads me to think it's more of a kiting ship. So we want some maneuverability there. That's why I've taken that. Notice also we get pretty normal heal, but we do get a 15% speed boost, which is pretty awesome. And the reload time, just look at that, pretty insane as well. So you could definitely consider buffing it um, if you purchased one of these in the armory. I think that'd be a really, really solid choice here considering the action time is already 180 seconds and buffing that would be amazing. You could also do the hydro as well. Pretty standard German hydro though. Um, so a secondary ship with a speed boost. Although the main guns, we haven't talked about that yet. Uh, <laughs> 305s are not my favorite, certainly not German 305s, but 18 second reload, 18.4 kilometers range. Keep in mind, I haven't done anything to buff these, at least on this build. So we'll see how it goes. Um, notice I did play one game a really long time ago when this ship first came into testing. I haven't played it since then. Uh, like I mentioned, I do try to wait until these ships are actually in their final state. Uh, I was just excited to see a secondary cruiser again. So let's see how it is here. And keep in mind, this is going to be the upcoming dockyard ship. And I'll do a video talking about the dockyard and the best way to go about that uh, later this week. For now, let's take a look at the ship. So first game here, we have tier nine matchmaker getting quite lucky. Something I was going to mention is the matchmaker might not be so kind to tier nine ships anymore. Um, simply because of super ships. Uh, we should notice the rear turret's 360. So yeah, if you've been playing the German battle cruiser line, this feels a lot like that. Although it is taking a cruiser slot instead of a battleship slot. Uh, very interesting to see that here. Um, keep in mind our concealment is amazing. 10.2 is awesome. It's really, really strong. So in open water like this, we can actually play relatively aggressive, I think. Uh, so we'll see. We want to support our Kitakaze here. I'm not sure um, how aggressive I actually want to be. Keep in mind we do have that big weakness in the nose. Um, what is the Schroeder? Well, I can't say right now. So we'll just do a quick little NDA. Um, and then maybe if you're watching this video, <laughs> it's a secondary cruiser and I think it could be fun. 
I always am someone who enjoys brawling in secondaries, as uh, you guys all know. So we'll see. I think this could be a fun pickup, although the last time we had a pretty major secondary ship in the... Um, wow, not armory. In the dockyard, the Odin didn't turn out, like, amazing, amazing. Oh, pretty flat broadside here. Four out of our eight shells hit, which felt, feels pretty nice, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so that's a, that's a pretty good start. I might pop my Hydra here, just in case. Uh, let's see. Do we go dark? That's one of the nice parts about a ship with really insane concealment. We get to go dark um, quite often, which means we're undetected. And yeah, can just kind of get away unless this lights us on fire. Okay. We were ready for it. Unfortunately for us, our kid does eat one of those torps. Uh, notice the Pomeran running away already. Seattle running away. I don't really think I want to chase these guys. Even though my 27 mil bow does deal with a Pomeran, 380 mil guns, just fine. He has longer range secondaries than I do. So, not terribly interested. I think we'll go cut back towards the middle of the map, unless this Pomeran gets really aggressive. So something that should always be considered as well with these secondary ships is you want to be constantly thinking about where you're positioning your ship on the map. You want people to be pushing into you, you want to be taking 1v1s, you don't want to be pushing into open water crossfires. And having a speed boost that's this powerful and lasts this long is really, really nice. Um, this is going to be a fun ship to play because you can reposition using this speed boost. 39 knots here, uh, 3 minutes duration, fast reload time. This is going to be a very interesting ship for that repositioning factor. Um, we'll see about the damage output a little later, but I do want to mention that repositioning is very, very strong here. But we found ourselves in a pretty strong position here, I hope. Albemarle. Hopefully we can hit that Citadel. It's pretty close by. Yep, we get two. And we certainly want to have a Hydro here. And look at the secondaries go. <laughs> okay, Synop shot. That gives us uh, room to, I think, turn out reasonably okay. Take some pain, but uh, it's not so bad. Alrighty, notice we don't have torps. Uh, that's something I should be mentioning to you guys. Bit of damage, okay. In on the uh, Seattle. Alright, we'll use our heal now. Our turret angles backwards are not amazing. That's something to be aware of. Uh, I guess we'll see how we stand up to Synop at this angle. Okay, he kind of whiffed, so fair enough. Just gonna kite away here, I think. Um, oh, that's a Heinrich, which is not looking at me right now, thankfully. <laughs> uh, it could have been really bad. Although, is he turning for me? No, it doesn't look like it. We're undetected. I'll rep that real quick. Not sure what this Albemarle's doing, but we'll definitely try and take him out. Close. And the secondaries get him. Nice. All right. Pretty decent, honestly. These guns, at least at close range, feeling all right. The armor's feeling reasonably strong here. Notice we're only facing tier nines, though, so far. Hmm. This could be a little too aggressive. Possibly. But let's try. Can always duck through this little channel to our right as well. See if we can't do some good damage to the Seattle here. Nope. Uh, maybe we should just focus on the Sinop. That's probably something we should be thinking about here. Did he just shoot me and his guns aren't looking at me? Okay. It's a thing that just happened. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Seattle's pretty broadside. So the idea here now is to maybe try and keep the Palmer between the islands from us. 
Uh, pushing in. Definitely want to use a Hydro. Here's where our rudder shift is going to be pretty sweet. Hopefully. Okay, we got a DD. I think if we full speed ahead, we should dodge most of these torps. Okay, let's do that. We're on a triple fire at the moment. Alrighty. Take you out. Double fire right away. Kind of hurts. We did deal with the DD, I guess. One of them. I overpushed, but that was pretty fun. Um, this thing is pretty insane. I gotta admit. So somehow we lost that one. Uh, but, hey. It was a fun little push at the end. Obviously a big mistake that probably cost us the game. Uh, you know, wasn't necessarily a blowout. It did end up being a close game at the end. Uh, positives we can definitely take away from this is none of our secondaries actually died in that YOLO push at all, which is really, really nice to see. Um, Accuracy-wise, as you can see, really not amazing. <laughs> Just give us back manual secondaries, please, please. So our second game, we've got, um, yeah, super ships. <laughs> we got super ships to deal with. So yeah, this is not gonna go particularly well because super ship games tend to not ever be within 10 kilometers. So we're gonna have to rely on our main guns, the range and uh, dealing damage that way. Maybe we can have some fun in the corner here, brawling it out with something but uh, I don't like our chances against a, Sh against a Schlieffen. And really, a Petri, even though he's a good target for us with 32 mil secondary pen, I don't really want to be fighting against a Petri at close range, you know? Doesn't sound like it's gonna go that well for me. We do get some nice damage into the DD, I suppose. And we are getting out wide. We see all the torps already, so I don't really think I need to pop my Hydro. Um, our concealment certainly allowing us to flank reasonably well here, which is really, really nice to have. Do have a decent flank here on the uh, Schlieffen and the Petri, so try and take advantage of that. Not sure where torps are coming from, but we may as well pop this now. Shatters into broadsides, those hurt, certainly. Buffalo in spawn still, huh? Right. A little unfortunate. Actually, very unfortunate for us. Now we're trapped in a crossfire. See, this is uh, one of the big issues with taking secondary kills. All right, let's see. Can we uh, go dark? Yes. Okay. So the Edgars are going to absolutely crush us here. But we can turn out reasonably okay. Very, very, very hard to play this ship at the moment. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Brawling at high tier just doesn't really work. 26,000 damage, man. I think this is gonna be an okay ship, but the matchmaker is gonna kill it. That's that's my thoughts on it at the moment, is at tier nine, the secondaries can be a fun gimmick. I think their big issue obviously is gonna be their accuracy. You have a huge volume of fire though. Um, but yeah, no accuracy is gonna be very challenging with these secondaries and tier 10, but especially super ship games are so passive that a ship like this is just not going to work. It's not the it's not the right build at all for uh, the meta. And if you try and build it for this more passive meta, you can. Um, but I don't think it's going to go that well. It's just it's just a worse Siegfried then, I guess. I don't really know. Um. So. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this ship. The armor seems okay, which is nice. But again, you don't really want to be pushing into crossfires, right? That's uh, that's the big thing here. 
And in fact, we're kind of losing this game already, too. So, <laughs> something to consider. We, uh... If we had pushed recklessly like last game, I think we would have lost this one, too. Maybe this next one. Let's see. Main guns? Main guns? A little all over the place, but we do get one Citadel at least, so that's kind of nice. Seems like the Torps probably would have already been here by now, so I think I can go. Normally I would wait until a Hydro. Um, that's what I'm often doing in a lot of these secondary Brawly ships is get to an island, use my Hydro or something to help me cross gaps like this, and that... Uh, that can definitely be a really good option to keep yourself from eating a bunch of torpedoes. Which are an easy way to kill a ship like this. Okay, good accuracy there. That feels pretty good. And then, can we get the Edgar yet at the end here? So maybe maybe an accuracy build is the way. Um, maybe, maybe the accuracy is way better than I thought. <laughs> Which would be too bad, man. Which would be too bad. I want I want a brawler. I want a secondary ship. Um, so if you do get this ship and you're not terribly interested in secondaries and brawling, a good option. Uh, of course, Siegfried does exist as like a more sniper-focused German battle cruiser, but that one is for Research Bureau, I believe. So that one takes a while to get. Um, so keep that in mind. That this dockyard could present a decent decent accuracy type of battlecruiser that's got good concealment to get the drop on people. I could see that being a very powerful ship given the speed boost to maneuver around and flank people and using the concealment as a uh, as a great way to get the drop on people with reasonably accurate big guns, decent armor as well to kite people, get a hydro. So unfortunately for me it's not going to be a secondary cruiser uh, battlecruiser but I mean, four kills there. We kind of yoinked some. Decent damage at the end. I guess I'll take it in a super ship game. So for our third game here, we've got tier nine matchmaker again. Getting pretty lucky, I think. Uh, this probably isn't normal uh, to get two actual tier nine games like this out of three, but I will gladly take it. Uh, this ship definitely feels like it needs this lower tier if it wants to get into some more brawling kind of scenarios. Uh, this map itself can be okay for brawls, but it does have a lot of open water kind of sight lines, so we do want to be a little careful about that. can support DDs pretty well with this ship too, keep in mind, given that we have uh, secondaries and that kind of thing, so we do want to think about that oftentimes. Uh, a Mines B broadside can be a pretty good target. But uh, this guy going broadside is probably a little better for us. So let's see if we can bring some pain to this poor uh, tier seven light cruiser. I'm still running the. Oh, I'm still running the same build. So we're not actually uh, we're not actually going into the <laughs> hybrid build or the accuracy focused one. Uh, this is still secondaries. I want to make it work. Um, I really do. But we're going to play a little cautious right now, just because they do have a lot of people here. I don't want to go into a crossfire between a John Bard and a North Carolina, for example. Um, and we're providing a decent crossfire because we have a Georgia Bismarck here. We're reasonably well angled, which I like. I'm not sure if we can Citadel and NC at 14, but maybe we could give it a go. I don't think the DDs have Torp range on us, so I'm not actually going to pop my Hydro here. No Citadel, but actually pretty decent damage, I would say. And yeah, he's taking some serious pain from our teammates. The Jean Bart is shooting at us, which uh, hopefully we can bounce. Uh, hope for more bounces in the future, <laughs> I suppose. I uh, left that one a little too far back, I think. But yeah, this crossfire can be very, very powerful. We'll see how we do against the NC salvo, I suppose. Yeah, not bad. Take that. John Bart's on us again. 10k there. Feels good. Lose a turret. Uh, we see the Freddy coming back. We don't want to be here anymore, so let's run away. Keep in mind our concealment, right? So, however, that's a broadside NC at 11. 
I want to try. Maybe I didn't shoot in time. Nope, didn't shoot in time. Too bad. Okay, I'm itching to brawl, guys. I don't want to overcommit. I'm trying really hard not to just overcommit into a brawl here. But man, I want to. I want to see what these secondaries are actually capable of. So badly. We'll see. Maybe the Freddy and John Bart will push here eventually. Let's see here if we can't uh, get a decent salvo into the NC. I did aim low, I think, low enough for Citadels, and we do get one. So 10.9, 10 definitely capable of Citadeling. So you can see we're taking some fire from these battleships away from our teammates. So hopefully that is allowing our, yeah, our Georgia Bismarck to be remaining reasonably healthy. You know, we get some other shots here. I'm not sure who that's exactly from. I'm shocked how long it's taking my teammates to kill this NC who's pushing. But hey, maybe maybe it's the tankiest NC in the of all time. Not quite a citadel. I'm getting greedy here. Oh, okay, they're pushing. Nice. Let's see. Secondaries. Do your thing. Show me what you got. On a big target like this, hopefully, uh, hopefully good things. Especially Jean Bart, we do full pen, I believe. Which feels pretty good. He's stuck here. Okay, let's let's check out the accuracy. Good bounce, good bounce, armor, way to go. Fire, first fire. We're 28 hits only. <laughs> um, okay, 28, 36 hits. All right, we're getting there. Use a heal. Uh, I don't think that was my salvo. I think somebody else hit him pretty hard here. The, um, oh, there's somebody in B. Should be aware that that could be a DD. I thought I would have bounced that, honestly, but okay. That seemed like it was low and into my belt, but okay. Notice I'm not getting greedy for my front guns. I'm trying to keep a, a, a somewhat appropriate angle, I guess, to try and bounce a lot of the, the Jean Bart. I should probably be switching over to the uh, HE, considering the Jean Bart's bow in, and he's gonna be bouncing most of my stuff. We actually lost our secondary streak there. Wow, we missed so many. We missed, we missed enough again to lose our secondary streak. Wow, this accuracy. It'll be interesting to see how many, um, how many secondaries we actually shot and their accuracy. I think, I think the big old issue here is going to be just the straight up accuracy of the ship and the secondaries. I think, I think that's going to be the issue. Which is pretty unfortunate, but hey, 100k, two kills. I mean, we still haven't even procced our Luchin's secondary buff, which is kind of unfortunate. It's one of the more fun things about running Luchin's is you get an even faster secondary reload. Which these secondaries do reload really quick, I will give them that. Uh, they're quite tough too, right? We haven't lost any secondaries, we haven't lost any of our AA. So those are uh, high points. It feels like the accuracy is pretty good. Uh, I, I should mention in this video that, uh, um, oh, I should say hi. Hello. I should mention in this video that I'm not, um, like, looking at stat tables really before a lot of these first impressions videos. I just want to go into it and uh, just feel it out, you know, see how it goes. So, yeah, I like it. I like it in tier 7 to 9 games. Uh, I don't really enjoy it in tier... 10 or tier 11, I guess I should say. Tier 11 super ships make it very, very challenging. Uh, again, do I full YOLO in and potentially throw a game or not? Mm, not sure. Oh, we got submarines. <gasps> we don't have planes! We have. Oh, war gaming, why? Oh, instantly. 
So sad instantly there. We don't have plain depth charges, man. That's so sad. All right, let's get our uh, secondaries on the nice now. Can keep this island somewhat between us and the the submarine at least. So that's good. Yeah, okay, damage. Like it shoots a lot of secondaries, right? Like it's a lot of secondary fire. Which is kind of fun, right? But at the same time, it's like, well, we need we need we need shots on target. Is also, you know, something we do want and need. Oh, we get a smoke screen. Oh, and that's an American smoke. Um, thank you, sir. Oh, this could be fun. Let the secondaries go. See what they can do. On a DD at nine kilometers, do we get any hits at all? <laughs> I think the, uh, I think we know the answer. <laughs> oh, both sides, secondaries, okay. Kind of wanting the secondaries to try and hit the DD here, so maybe. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, we did hit him. We did hit him. I think we do need to dodge these torps. So we'll just go forward real quick. Again, we can use our speed boost as a means of propulsion mod. We finally activate Luchens. Uh, it means 100 secondary hits. We get a reload buff on our secondaries, so they're even meaner. I guess. It's, it's, it's the accuracy, guys. It's the accuracy. And like... I suppose I understand that, yeah, you can't just give, you, you can't just give um, insane accuracy to these secondaries because they would just melt everything with this concealment, but I'm a little sad that they're not a little bit more accurate than they are right now. Maybe fully angled, we can actually do some decent damage to this guy. Ooh. Nice now, Torps. Ah, oh, depends anyway. So, how do we deal with this game? Like I said, um, if I had YOLO'd earlier, we would have lost, probably. Uh, which is kind of hilarious. But I don't think these guys can kill me, so there is that. Try and get that salvo out. Three. I'll take three overpens there. Try and kill the mines way out here. 2,000 damage. We need a few overpens. That's about it. Oh, okay. These are probably torps I need to be trying to avoid. So, speed boost save me. Yeah, in these games, we got pretty good armor, which is quite nice. I missed entirely. That feels really, really bad. Unfortunate. All right, try and kill the light cruiser again. Oh, the DD showed up. I wish I would have uh, saved my salvo for that. We whiffed again, okay. Secondaries aren't hitting, unfortunate. I think we lose this game, guys. <laughs> Somehow we're gonna we're gonna lose this game. All right, give me a full pen, please, Gabe. Give me a full pen. That's what I asked for. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't uh, kill him this time. Maybe my aim is just really, 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 really poor at the moment. Okay, we got him. Nice. All right, on to the Benham. Let 
Gonna use my main guns to hopefully get them. We do. Good. All right, on to the light cruiser. Maybe. Speed boost for. Okay, those are fine. Fire is less fine, certainly. Shatters is not good. All right. Torpedos auf Steuerbord. Torpedos voraus. Unfortunate, impossible target to hit. Torpedos voraus. Gefecht endet in fünf Minuten. I need some full pens game. Please. Thank you. Torpedos after out. Gegnerischer Kreuzer zerstört. Unser Team hat die Führung übernommen. Please. Thank you. Problem gelöst. I really hope he doesn't get just a random fire here. It's so tilting. Because I go dark. I do go dark. Well, at least our, as long as our Colorado survives, I think we win. So that's kind of cool. He's not going to shoot, which feels bad. Unfortunate. Well, he got the lucky fire, so he kills me. But I think overall, pretty solid game. Kraken. Um, as you can see, fire prevention certainly hurts this ship. First game, we got five fires in like the span of 30 seconds. Um, fires definitely kill these ships. So you could definitely think about rocking um, damage control system instead of rudder shift here. That was a good game. Good amount of damage, 2.7 mil potential damage feels really good. We got a win that I felt like I actually contributed to. Uh, so I'll, I'll take it, uh, I'll take it. So it can be fun. This thing definitely can be fun. It can be very strong too, but it requires top tier, right? If, you, if you're bottom tier in this ship, it's kind of lights out. Okay, we kind of nuked the Jean Bart with our secondaries by the looks of it, which feels pretty good. 1,682 shells fired for 155 hits. Bring back manual secondaries, please. Please. I'll take a concealment nerf if it means these secondaries are more accurate. Please. Seriously. It's so sad, man. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Schroeder seems like a decent one. Keep in mind, dockyards are an all two patch. What is it? Two patches commitment. And the best way to do dockyards is often, or at least the cheapest way, is to do the upfront cost. But then, you know, you're locked in, you get the sunk cost fallacy, and you might actually end up spending more money if you don't have the time to put into a dockyard. Uh, so keep that in mind. There's going to be a lot of stuff vying for your attention around holiday season. So, you know, even though this is a pretty interesting, fun secondary ship, 
There's a lot of those that don't require you to uh, spend all holiday season and all of January grinding for it. Um, like Napoli, for example. I think overall, Napoli is probably just a better ship. It is tier 10, though, to be fair. Uh, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to be playing this ship a lot more. You'll hear more of my thoughts on it as time goes on. But uh, a fun first video, at least, with the Schroeder. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.